Yo, what's good guys? This is Chris from WearTesters.com. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at these bad boys right here. This is the Air Jordan 7 Ray Allen PE. Now for longtime Ray Allen fans and Jordan brand fans, you're probably looking at these being like, yo, those don't look right. Those don't look like the PEs that Ray Allen actually wore when he was playing with the Milwaukee Bucks. And you'd be right. This is actually an amalgam of those two models. So there was an original black base version, which was actually a leather build. And then there was a white base version also with a leather build. But what they did was combine the two colorways and that's what we have right here. Are they ever going to release those two PEs separately? Fingers crossed, because those white ones can fire. But these guys right here do take inspiration from both of those colorways. So what you're gonna see is on the outsole right there, typical Air Jordan 7 outsole, but they have the green translucent pods right there. And that is taken directly from the white base PE. Obviously the rest of the shoe really plays heavily on the black base version, including the little peaks right there, the color blocking, all that stuff. The main thing though, is that these are not leather whatsoever, which is kind of a weird twist, I guess, because I would have assumed that if you were combining a leather sneaker with another leather sneaker, that you would still come up with a leather sneaker. Instead, we have that Durabuck material that is typically featured on previous versions of the Air Jordan 7. And these guys actually happen to be a nicer version as well. I would actually say that this is slightly nicer, just barely, than the Air Jordan 4 black and red, black cement, bread, whatever it is that you want to call them. It just has this kind of like rubbery feeling almost. And when I compare it to the remastered version of the Air Jordan 7, it basically has that similar feel to it. The weird thing though is that when people ask me, like I have friends that already know that I gra grabbed these and they were like, hey, what's the material quality like? And they always ask me about this one shoe and it's, it's about the, the Raptor colorway because it's one of the best colorways, I think. And the last version of that colorway that released had some of the shittiest material on them that you can think of. So this is definitely better than that. It's just not anything premium, so don't expect premium. It's definitely not that leather look from the original PEs that he actually wore, which again is a bummer, but it also leaves room for Jordan Brand to release some more colorways if they ever wanted to. Now these guys do have typical Air Jordan 7 features. So you got that little logo right there with the 2-3 on the heel. I love this thing. I think that this is like, it's weird, but it's the best part of the Air Jordan 7, at least in my opinion. Another cool feature for the Air Jordan 7s is that the tongues are always different and that does not just include the left and right shoe but that includes all pairs within production so all of your shoes will be different i love the uh the way that this tongue right here turned out i think it looks dope and something to note is that they they do have that little weird bump that the bordeaux sevens did have some people actually don't like that i don't mind it it's not like super noticeable when you're wearing it on foot but just to throw it out there for anybody that is curious and then what i really like about this version of the air jordan 7 is that the toe is not boxy whatsoever i really like the smooth slant and all that stuff i don't like it when there's I don't know what it is but like it feels like there's like a rim or a trim keeping the toe box shape in order and this guy right here doesn't have that it feels more like that mid 90s or even earlier style of shoe or retro. Now, as far as tech specs on the Air Jordan 7 are concerned, we have a interesting traction pattern, but it does work really well. I love playing in the Air Jordan 7. It's one of the better early models, in my opinion. The midsole has always been polyurethane. I don't know what these retros are. It's always been kind of curious to me, like, is it polyurethane or is it some sort of really firm flylon? I'm not really sure. They did switch up the air unit placement though, where the originals had an embedded full length air unit within a polyurethane midsole. These new versions, like pretty much all the retros, they just kind of top loaded it instead of embedded it within the midsole. So in my opinion, the Air Jordan 7 is one of the more comfy models from the previous like early 90s retros. They do fit true to size by the way. So for anybody wondering, I went true to size. They fit me perfectly. I grabbed these over at Phenom right here in the Sacramento area. So if you are local to the Sacramento area, make sure to head over there. They're going to be releasing Saturday, June 1st first come first serve retail is $190 they also do phone orders so I will leave all that information down below in the description box just in case anybody is interested one additional thing to note is that you can't tell that this is a Ray Allen PE until you actually look inside the insole it's got his Ray logo that you would see pretty much boldly on like the Air Jordan 13 Ray Allens which are fire and I am curious to know whether or not these are going to sell out like previous Ray PEs have or are they going to sit like current retros do it's one of those great debates that we can have currently as a sneakerhead is like, are they gonna sit or are they gonna sell? Is Ray Allen's name enough to make these things skyrocket in resale value? Or is it just a modern retro that just nobody cares about? Also, the insole is not polyurethane. I was really hoping for that, but it is not, unfortunately. They have been doing that on some of the more recent OG style retros, Air Jordan 4, Black Cement, Black and Red, Bread, whatever the hell you wanna call them. People get so mad. 
Like they get so mad. It doesn't, I don't know. Alrighty then. As well as the previous Air Jordan 11 Concords and the Air Jordan 11 Pure Platinums or something like that, Platinum Tints. I don't remember, they were ugly though. They actually weren't ugly, they were just a weird material in that color. Also, some people might care. I, I've been doing a lot of also's. This is like a, it's like one of the movies that never ends. New drinking game. For also? <laughs> yeah. Also? Water. But no, one, one last thing I swear is uh, the aglets right here are actually metal, which is dope because we haven't seen that, at least not in a while. These are uh, plastic, so these guys right here are metal. It gives a slight premium touch to the shoe, even though the shoe is not premium itself. And that pretty much takes care of it for these guys. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. Are you going after a pair? I'm very curious to see how these are gonna sell, because again, it is a Ray Allen PE. All Ray Allen PEs of the past, you can go look them up. They're hella expensive now. Even the team shoes, like the Jumpman Pro, did you know? Okay, so there was a black, like my black and reds, like that OG color blocking, but it was black and green when he was on the Celtics. And it's a Ray Allen PE, and they only released, granted they were limited numbers, these might be a mass release, I don't really know. Actually, it feels like they are, so you might be fine. But that shoe is just, you know, Air Jordan 8, is Air Jordan 8. PEs are fire too. The white ones are so clean. But anyways, that pretty much takes care of it. I'm sorry for dragging on. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think about these down below in the comment section. And until next time, guys, have a good one. Can we take a moment to notice the background? Give a little shine to it. What the f are you doing with your arm? I was pointing at it. You look like Ellen. Or uh, what, what's that girl's name? Not Ellen. Uh, Elaine. That's a, the, the, the <laughs> dance moves. <laughs> what was that? You want me to kick my foot out? No, hell no. Like, what was that? <laughs> it just came naturally? <laughs> Did y'all see that? She's my spirit the, the animal. The thing back there. We're dancing. <laughs> Man. But yeah, we worked really hard on this, so. Oh, we talking for real about the for background? For real about the background. I worked really hard on it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that face? That's the face of love right there. That's a face he gets to see a lot of. A lot. But yeah, that's actually an idea that I had. I wanted it to be a little bit different. I wanted slat walls, because that reminds me a lot of old foot lockers and athlete's foot and champs and stuff like that. You don't remember the athlete's foot? <laughs> that's a real store? Yes. That's where I bought my first pair of Jordans. Did you walk out with some itchy feet too? No, I walked out with some black and red Jumpman Pros and I felt like the shit. <laughs> that's, that's what I did. But no, the athlete's foot is still around. They're just like more on the East Coast now. They're not here. I put it on my story, their logo with the foot with the wing on it and the red dot. You didn't see it? No. Man, she don't even pay attention to me on Instagram. That sounds like a Goodyear logo. It looks like that. Yeah, the athlete's foot is a real store. So that that's what I wanted to do, the slat wall. So a slat wall is long with little spaces in between where you would hook a shelf inside of it. This is a pegboard, so it's more like a shop or like a Toys R Us, you know what I mean? Like KB Toys where you'd hang toys. And so what I ended up doing is um, over there where we used to film on the blue wall, that area I bought four pegboards because I got this idea because we moved my action figure collection down here into the studio, AKA the garage. They were all over the place because I had way more action figures than I thought that I had. Instead of trying to fit them on shelving and stuff that just already has like comic books and all that stuff on it, I ended up using this the wall space that we weren't using previously. I bought these pegboards and I basically recreated a toy store in my garage and I absolutely love it. And then we started thinking like, you know, we probably could do the pegboard as like a shoe board as well and have it look like an old school style, yeah. like retail spot. I figured out how to angle the shoe on the wall. Yeah, we just dropped down the little pegs and I mean, it looks like that. I think it looks dope, dude. So like you guys can let us know what you guys think about it because I think this is the first video. Yes. Right, with it in there. So yeah, I think that it looks fantastic. Some people on Instagram, because I did share, on Instagram is where I like, like will be a little more personal. So like I'll post things like, like I got the Lord Zed figure from the new Hasbro Lightning Collection of Power Rangers. It's so cool and He nerdy. dropped everything that we were working on. It was like, I gotta go get my figure. Well, it's because uh, GameStop <laughs> calls me and they're like, hey, we got your Lord Zed figure. And I was like, I pre-ordered that? Like, I don't remember. I remember pre-ordering Goldar. So I posted a little boomerang thing, just being like, look at my cool garage, you know what I mean? And so, if you ever wanted to know a little bit more about me, you can always, you don't have to follow me on Instagram because it's not private, so you can always just stalk me. If be you, a creeper. Yeah, if you want to be a creeper, feel free. Did we talk about these? No, not yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you like them? Do you like sevens? Uh... I feel like you would if you wore them. You think so? Yeah, they're bulky and narrow, or sleek, 
all at the same time. This looks like it would annoy me. No, this is fantastic. Yes, so instead of lacing them all the way to the top, you lace them right here. Okay. And then you just let the wings out. Wings out. <laughs> you let them fly? Yeah, you let them wings out. I have legs like you though. Like I have from running and stuff, I don't have twig legs. And so I feel like this would rub. That's why you let them out. Okay. And then when you when you step on your heel, it pushes that out automatically. So it relieves the pressure. So you're all good and stuff. It's great for cankles.